Hey everyone, it's Revni with Attack the Paint. Today, let's go over the scouting footage of Henry Ellenson. He's a 6'10 power forward with a 7'2 wingspan. He's 245 pounds, and he's entering the draft after his freshman year at Marquette. He averaged 17 points and almost 10 rebounds per game. He's a modern day stretch four, and he's arguably the best big man shooter in the draft. Let's go over his offense and then examine his defense. Allenson's most NBA ready trait is his shooting. He has a good shooting form and has a smooth release. He's good at spotting up, but most of his shots come from facing up his defender. Allenson's best shooting spot on the floor is on the right elbow. On the left corner three, he's shooting 47% and on the right corner three, he's shooting 50%. Henry can also be used in the pick and pop, but he struggles on some spots on the court, especially the middle three where he's shooting 26%. Overall, he's only shooting about 29% from three, so there's still plenty of room for improvement. He's also struggling from the left and the right middle three where he's shooting 21 and 20% respectively. You won't see Henry dunk very much at all, but he could finish around the basket well enough. He uses the glass often and the rim as his protection. However, you will notice that he moves away from contact. That causes him to take wild shots, like against Simmons here. He's also not very athletic, so he doesn't get very much left off the ground, making it tough for him to finish around the basket. Ellenson will occasionally attack the paint. His ability to hit the outside shot allows him to sell the pump fake, and it gives him room to drive into the lane. But he's not very quick, so defenders can stay with him. Again, he shies away from contact, shooting a shot farther out than he probably should. Henry is patient in the post. He takes his time and waits for the right moment to take a shot. He can score over either his left or right shoulder. But he struggles to post up players who are stronger than him, which forces him to take a hook shot farther than he should. He needs to get stronger if he wants to post up NBA players. Henry isn't a great passer by any means, but he can make the right pass. Some of his passes are too high or too low, but overall he's a capable passer whether he's posting up or in transition. Given that Henry isn't very athletic, you might expect him to be a poor rebounder. But he's actually not that bad. He finds out someone to block out when the shot goes up. He averaged 9.7 rebounds per game. That being said, I don't expect him to be as good a rebounder in the NBA because he lacks the jumping ability to go and get the ball at its peak. As you probably already noticed, Henry isn't much of a leaper at all, but he has a good standing reach of over 9 feet. So even when he's completely vertical, it gives issues to the offensive player. I don't expect Henry to be a great shot blocker at the next level, but he does have a wingspan of 7 foot 2. That allows him to get a block every now and then. Henry won't be a good rim protector. Teams weren't afraid to attack the paint when he was in there. 
It's not just that he lacks the athleticism, but he's slow to react and he wouldn't even try to slide in for the charge. You can see here that he doesn't even try to put a hand up to stop a layup. His verticality alone won't be enough to stop NBA players from attacking the paint. Henry struggles as a perimeter defender as well. He's not very quick on his feet and he's slow getting a hand up. You can see the offensive player is able to get to the basket and Henry isn't able to stick with him. This is also part of the reason why I expect Henry to struggle guarding the pick and roll in the next level. He was able to slide with the guard here, but he went too far away from the big man to recover in time. When Henry shows or hedges, he just isn't able to get back to the big man before he takes a shot. Henry won't be able to effectively switch onto guards because he lacks the foot speed. Lastly, Henry overhelps on defense. He gets caught ball watching and forgets where his man is on the court. Even if Henry is helping one pass away, he isn't quick enough to recover back to his man. Ellenson had a very good freshman year, but I'm worried about parts of his game transferring to the pro level. He doesn't really fit in small ball lineups in my opinion. Teams will find and attack him in the pick and roll when he's on the court. For him to be effective, his team will have to pair him with another big man to get rebounds and protect the rim. Essentially, it would be ideal if he was paired with the Dwight Howard or Andre Drummond. Personally, his defense worries me, so I wouldn't draft him unless I knew I had good defenders that would negate his negative defensive impact. If you enjoyed the video, please share it and like it. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. This is Ravneet with Attack the Paint, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.